I thought I zeroed in on Jupiter and <laughs> apparently it's Saturn instead. Okay, I really didn't come out here to uh, do this, but <laughs> since I'm here, well, hello there. Here we are on Sunday, August 30th at 8.39 p.m. Up here in northeastern Ohio, noisy Ohio, my goodness. And I wasn't expecting to do this tonight. I'm not sure why I even came out, but here I am. <laughs> and I was trying to center Jupiter in here, and it ended up being Saturn. <laughs> The 5X does pretty well. And as we can see, we're not on a trekking mount as the planet is heading up, up, and away. Oh, we really can't uh, see much here. We're on the Tamron 150 to 600, and we have both Kenko teleconverters on. Where is Jupiter? Well, that is crazy. The only thing I can see is that white dot. And Jupiter is nowhere to be found. Because that white dot should be Saturn. That's a, quite a cool look there. Wish I could see it a bit larger, like 10x cannon. <laughs> it's like bitch about that. Where is the focus ring? And there we go with the information off the screen. Now it's crazy. Um, what I see by eye is what I normally see is just Jupiter shining. And Jupiter is nowhere to be seen. I mean, that can't be right. What I'm seeing, it must be Jupiter, even though it's not being picked up on the camera. <laughs> oh, so if I move you to the right. Jupiter should be over there, and it's not. Alright, so Jupiter went walkabout, eh? <laughs> no, that's crazy. Alright, so that bright star there is Saturn, which never comes out that bright for me. And like I said, Jupiter's gone walkabout. It's nowhere. It's quite insane. Look higher up. There it is. My goodness. And there we go with Jupiter and something red flashing over there. I saw something falling there. <laughs> Weird. I don't want to change positions here, just to make sure. And we can't see the bands very well, but there's Jupiter at the 30X. With both teleconverters on. And let's see, we're at uh, 800 ISO, F14. <laughs> can't help that. And 1 100th one shutter. Okay, so with this setup, we're not going to get the best views of Saturn and Jupiter. But it's still quite cool what we can capture. I'm surprised they're not coming in bigger, though. 
Hmm. We're at the 30x, and I would think that that would show a much bigger view. Anyway. Alright, so there we go. We have two of Jupiter's moons to the right. One right at the 9 o'clock position. Knocking on Jupiter's door. And then the other one off to the left there. Cool. Alright, there we go. Now Jupiter's bands are coming in pretty good right at the moment. We're at the 5X. Not so much at the 30X. <laughs> so it's quite hard to try to adjust the focus when you don't have an extra reach here. Like 10x cannon. <laughs> oh my. Now the moon is still behind the willow tree. Alright, that's quite cool. I'm kind of happy how both uh, Jupiter and Saturn came out tonight. It's still too early for Mars. And we have way too many clouds in the sky. So I'm not going to mess around too much more here. That was so funny though. I could have swore I had the camera pointed at Jupiter. And lo and behold it was Saturn. All I could see by eye was Jupiter. So I pointed the camera in that direction. And adjusted settings and lo and behold it ended up being Saturn. <laughs> I could not find Jupiter for anything, but eventually I did. It is much harder when you don't have a wide field of view, so <laughs> we'll take that into account. All right, cool. Thank you, Jupiter. And we'll just watch them as they head on their journey. All right. The nights are getting cooler, and so are the days, and I'm not looking forward to winter. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. I don't know how I'm going to cobble this one together, because I wasn't uh, <laughs> prepared to do what I was doing. So my narration will probably end up being off, or all over the place. <laughs> I was scratching my head trying to figure out why I could see Jupiter by eye and the camera couldn't and oh my goodness anyway so that's going to do it here on our Sunday evening the two incredible planets of Jupiter and Saturn as a journey on across the sky alrighty there we go it's now 9, 10 p.m. up here. Y'all take care. Have a great new week ahead. Bye now.